JF Sports. Now, I'm going to give you guys my post-fight final thoughts on Deontay Wilder versus Johan De Hoopa. Now, a lot of us, you know, criticize De Hoopa for getting beat, getting smashed, and uh, getting knocked out, or I should just say, getting stopped. But in all reality, I watched the video uh, twice, so just to let you guys know that. I watched the fight twice, and um, as it may seem that the Hoopa lost the fight, and uh, Deontay Wilder may have looked sensation, or he may have made it look easy, but I don't think it was an easy fight. The Hoopa, as much as he was getting shot, pot shotted, punched, uppercuts, I mean, you name it, right? All the punches in the world from Wilder. This guy kept going forward. And as much as we want to give, you know, Deontay Wilder all the credit in the world, we got to give some also to Johan De Hoopa. I mean, you know, he, I think he knew that he had little chance of beating Wilder for, you know, is his first fight in the U.S. and um, not to mention Deontay Wilder's record at very very high KO percentage. The Hoopa coming to the fight, I believe he knew he was facing a dangerous and a very solid dude, right? And then the Hoopa, as I watched the fight again. He really tried his best, I, I think so, you know. He got cut, which made him, on in instances, hard to see because of the blood that was gushing down his face. He didn't quit. He didn't stop. And if you guys look at Wilder's face, it wasn't necessarily untouched. As a matter of fact, he had a swollen... I believe it was a left eye or right eye. I can't remember. So, yes, Deontay Wilder may have made it look easy, but I don't think that was the case. You know, a lot of fans, especially Deontay Wilder fans, are saying that it was an easy fight. It went 11th round, just to let you guys know that. If you guys didn't see the fight, one of my videos, post-fight video, I put the link in the description so you guys check out the fight. I think I, I can comfortably say that uh, the Hoopa earned a little bit of my respect, you know. As you guys know, if you guys are familiar with my videos and my channel, I respect guys that go toe-to-toe. -to -toe and doesn't dock or run away from his opponents, right? So, you know, in the beginning, I was like, yeah, it was a mismatch. And it still is, in my own opinion. I think it was a mismatch. But that doesn't mean that I don't give the Hooper the respect that he deserves coming forward even after getting shot, after shot, after shot. You know what I mean? Like, it was some big shots coming from Wilder, and he did not give up, you know? If it was such an easy fight, then it shouldn't have gone past six rounds, and that's being lenient. Now, do I think that Wilder was impressive? Yes. Do I think that 
while they're dominated to fight? Yes. I think while they're controlled to fight. But that doesn't mean that it was easy. That doesn't mean that Wilder didn't have a hard time. If you guys watch the fight closely, Wilder was the one who was running away. I mean, not literally, but you get what I'm saying. The Hoopas is a scary dude. He's one of those opponents that some type of a rocky persona, so to speak. You know, no matter how much he gets hit, no matter how much bloody his face is, he's not going to quit until you knock him out, right? Now, I'm going to give Wilder all the credit in the world for winning that fight and actually preventing it from going all 12 rounds. He couldn't knock down or knock out the Hoopa, that's for sure. The guy had heart. The guy had stamina. And not to mention, the guy had a good chin. But, like I said, I'm going to give Wilder all the quit in the world because he did not let it go 12 rounds unanimous decision. When Wilder didn't or couldn't knock out or knock down his opponent, and he knew that, he unleashed punches, you know, on the 11th round, which resulted on the referee stopping the fight, which that's what we want to see on these fighters, you know. And not to mention, you guys got to remember, this was heavyweights, where one punch can change the whole situation, when, where one punch could actually damage each other, right? It wasn't like some lightweight, you know, running around. It was actually punches. I mean, punches that could potentially give you temporary brain injuries, if not put you to coma. So with that many punches that the Hoopa took from Wilder and still stood there and still kept coming forward, that showed heart, and like I said, he earned a little bit of my respect. You know, win or lose, I think that's what we need to see in boxing. You know, it's called boxing for a reason. You fight your heart out, you give, you give out your 110%, you put out the best performance you could ever give, and the fans will respect you. Win or lose. Now remember, the hoop was, this was his first fight in the U.S. Not only in the U.S. He fought Wilder in his hometown in Alabama, where the crowd was pro-Wilder. And not to mention, the hoop was already coming as a heavy underdog against Wilder. But he surprised me though, how he kept coming forward, man, after getting punched and punched after punches. And Wilder don't throw no soft punches, <laughs> you know. He throws some big punches. And um, as little as the Hoopa landed on on Wilder, he managed to actually give him a swollen face. Because like I said, this is heavyweight. Where one punch can change the whole situation, right? The whole outcome. There was instances there where I thought that the Hoopa could potentially knock down Wilder, but obviously that was a long shot. I think we would like to see more of the Hoopa, you know. I think he should fight some more heavyweights. And um, this loss of him is just a minor setback anyways. You know, maybe he'll come back and um, learn from this and... I so said, just maybe he'll just treat this as you know learning experience and come back as as a more solid dude. I mean, he has the heart, he has the skill. He just needs to work on little things and um, maybe some defense. And I think he'll be all right. You know, do I think that Wilder would afford the uh, the Hoopas the opportunity of a rematch? There's no need. I mean. 
unless he wants to, you know, does the fight need a rematch? Uh, not really, but possible. Would the fans want to see a rematch? I guess, you know, we wouldn't mind watching it, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd make my final thoughts and analysis of the whole fight because, like I said, I watched it again and uh, as much as the ridiculous and many, many criticisms that the Hoopa is getting, to include from mine, you know, from, from, from me. And I criticized the Hoopa for not winning rounds because Wilder pretty much controlled the whole fight. But then again, sometimes we, we watch fights and you got to watch it again for you to actually, you know, set all your emotions aside and actually watch the fight, you know, and give the guy some credit when he gave his 110% and actually he didn't duck, didn't run away from, or didn't stop, you know, giving his best. You know, and that's what's important about it. I, I think it was a good fight. You know, I, you know, overall, I think it was a good fight. You know, this is only, what, the second time that Deontay Wilder actually gone past nine rounds. First was with uh, Bermain Stiburn, you know, and that guy was also a solid dude, you know, which actually gave Deontay Wilder his first 12 rounds. So, I mean, overall, I, I thought the Hoopers did, did okay, you know, I mean, he did a good job as far as staying there and making it exciting and actually didn't quit, you know. I mean, his corner could have easily throw the towel and say it's enough punishment, but they didn't do that, you know. As much as he's got all those cuts in the face, blood gushing through his face, I mean, he didn't quit, you know. Like I said, Wilder may have made it look easy, but I don't think that was the case. I think Wilder had a hard time tonight, you know, even though it was pretty much lopsided as far as the scorecard goes, but he, you know, we know that Wilder had a little bit of a difficulty against the Hoopa. The guy was solid, man. He just didn't have the best defense, and and um, I think Wilder uh, outpowered him. And then, um, you know, uh, Wilder having the uh, KO percentage that he has played a big part, uh, was the key as far as uh, him winning the fight. You know, he's always been a big puncher, and Wilder's type person that, you know, he's, he stands up to his name. He is wild. He will throw wild shots, and eventually, if it lands, you're going to go down. And I thought that the Hoopa at one point will go down, but he didn't. Um, I believe if it was his choice, I I think he'd gone 12 rounds. You know what I mean? It's, it's what it is. But it, it was a good fight. I enjoyed myself. I, I got to be honest, you know, even though the Hoopa gets a lot of criticisms. I think he's going to come back you know, to his country with his head held high and he did what he could and, you know, that's what you get though, you know what I mean? If you're not from the U.S. and you come in here to fight, you know, you get the respect of your people because you didn't stop, you didn't quit, you came to fight, you gave it 110% and you showed heart. So, yes, he earned my respect based on those. Um... Let me know what you guys think, you know. Uh, like I said, the only reason why I made this video is to clarify some stuff that a lot of people are commenting on social media and making videos that the Hoopo ain't crap, you know, that he wasn't shit. But in all reality, man, the dude showed hard. Better than some of the opponents and, and fights that we've seen nowadays. Especially, this is heavyweight, you know, when... You know, it's a big boys sport, you know what I mean? It's a big boys division. There ain't no lightweight, you know, ain't no welterweight. So, uh, it was cool. You know, I thought it was cool. But, um, I'm sure that the Hoopa would learn from this. And, yes, obviously the Hoopas could have done better. And Wilder, on the other hand, also could have done better. And, you know, it is what it is. We got what what uh, was expected, so to speak, you know, that Wilder would win. Um, the only mistake that a lot of people got or a lot of people were wrong in is because people predicted this as it was you know uh, a knockout uh, six rounds or less or five rounds or less uh, for that matter but other than that it, it was a good fight 
you know, 